Hey guys, so after we got off our trip, the um, uh, Florida trip, my hinge here, it was already showing a stress crack, I think in the top of the bottom, but it finally broke. So I'm gonna pull these rivets out and put a new one in. I found this one at the junkyard, so, and it fits perfectly. There's one online for Fleetwood RVs. Looks like they want 140 for it, so, but I went to a junkyard and found one. So I'm gonna change that one out today, and you can watch me do it. Okay, here's the stress cracks I was telling about. It had one on the bottom, or the top, I don't remember which one, and I just replaced both of the rivets. Maybe it was the top one, but now it just, it just totally, see, I can just push it. So it's basically, it doesn't have a bottom hinge, so I'm gonna, already got this off the screen with some screws. Now I'm gonna do this one. I'm worried about there's a back plate in here that if I take these out, that it'll fall down and I'll never be able to connect to it. That's what I was reading. So I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna pull this one out first and put something in there uh, along something to make sure it doesn't fall down and then see if there is. So let's get to it. Okay, I got this one drilled out. This one had the little piece sticking out too far. I couldn't get it. So I banged it through a little bit. I'm gonna put a piece of bailing wire in there, make sure nothing falls down. Okay, stuffed it in there, some styrofoam in the back here. I'm going to drill this one out next. I got it out or got it off I put a chisel in here and chiseled off the top Let's see what we got back here oh of course this is gonna fall off because it's not even gonna be holding on to anything okay now I gotta deal with these drill these out start with the bottom one I guess okay so I got the top one off as you can see I had to grind it looks like I'm having to grind the top off and push them in I'm not saying that this is how they all should come out, but this one right here, I'm just gonna drill out. It doesn't look like there's any backing in there, but there might be one in here. Okay, I got the last one out. Nothing seems to be behind there. So I've got these ones to get out now. All right, I um, drilled this one out. And I remember when I did this, because I, I had a crack in it, but the bottom one wasn't. Top or bottom, I don't remember. I keep saying that. But you can see it bottoms out in there. Like, right? Boom. But there's enough room for a, a rivet to go in there. So I don't think there's a back in there. It doesn't look like it. But I'm just going to put this in there just in case. So if there's a backing, it doesn't fall down. So I'm going to drill these last two out. And... Uh, Decide what I'm gonna do then. Okay, I got the last one out. And it doesn't look like there's a back in there of any sort. Actually, there's still a little bit in there. Let's see if I can. Oh, it fell down. A little bit in there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'd have a back in there, wouldn't it? That is awesome. There goes my drill. Yeah, I don't think there's a back in there, which is awesome. But I'm leaving this in there. May I can't, because I had to put this hinge on there. Let me do that. Okay, I'm ready to put the new hinge on there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my rivet gun and, and do that right now. Yeah, let's see here. Make sure I got the right rivet. Okay. My rivet in the gun here. Gun in the hole. I'm gonna have to have two hands though. Okay, got one in there. Rivet guns amaze me, I swear. Oh 
maybe I should have got that one off too before I put that in. <laughs> nah, I think I'll be okay. These were drilled out pretty easy. Okay, got those drilled out with my drill bit. Real easy. And there's no backing plate in there. I had my bailing wire in there just in case I had to try to bring it forward. I don't know. It would have been a heck of a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one in. And rivet that in. Then I'll rivet this in. Does that fit? Yeah. Okay. And then screw that back on. So let me get these all riveted in. You know, before I go in, this is this is what's left of the rivet that I just put in there. See, you just tighten this and it pulls this out. Now I gotta get this out. So with a rivet, I just think these are amazing. See this? You're pulling the shaft from the end here. So it swells this thing up right here. It pulls this back like that and the end swells up and whatever's in there it just it just sucks it up. This gets pulled this way and then this swells and then it breaks this shaft off. You can see the shaft in there. See it back in there? It's just amazing how these things work. They're so easy to do. And you just drill them out when you're done. All right. I did one in each just in case for some there's some reason it doesn't work. Put those two screws in the screen and let's see how this door shuts. See if it shuts. Okay, it's swinging by itself. Okay. Wow. Nice. Okay. We are going to rivet this sucker up and call it a win. Here's what the other one looks like. That's factory rivets right there. You can tell it's, <laughs> it doesn't match the paint, but dang it. I am so happy. Let me finish riveting it up, make sure everything works. Okay, got all the screws back. Got all the uh, rivets back in. This one, I had to snip this one off, but it broke inside so got them all in Let's see how the screen shuts screen shuts pretty good How the screen shuts again. Okay, shuts really good. All right, see the door. I remember this hinge used to move when I shut it. It doesn't move no more. I think I was. A year and a half I, I drove, I think it was cracked here. What's weird about this hinge compared to the other one, look at these, they've got like a little give. See that? All of them, even the other, the one that broke. And that's where it broke, right, right along this line here. This hinge does not have that. Makes you wonder, did they do that? So if it was to break, that's the breaking point. I don't know, but um, yeah, this is pretty much all the tools I had to fix this. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me while we fix this hinge of, of mine, and hopefully it'll last, Lord willing, the, the rest of the time that I own this RV. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Take it easy. Bye.